Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to show you how I've installed the BWS bug wipers on my Silent 2 Electro. Which difficulties have I encountered and uh, what was the outcome? My name is Rudi. I fly commercial aircraft for a living and gliders for fun. So be sure that your seat back is in the upright position, your seat belts are fastened and enjoy the flight. So what are bug wipers designed for? During thermaling, the glider collects bugs with the leading parts of the plane. The remains can result in a degradation of your glide ratio of up to 15%. With the bug wipers, the original gliding performance can be re-established during flight. So to facilitate long cross-country flights in parts of the world where bugs are present in thermals like in Central Europe, bug wipers are the tools of your choice. There are several differences between a standard glider and a Silent 2 Electro. Right behind the pilot there is a bulkhead. That leads to the fact that there is no dedicated space for a luggage and also no dedicated space where you normally put the motors of the electric bug wiper system. So I had to install the motors of the electric bug wiper systems right behind the bulkhead on the housing of the main landing wheel. The second major difference of the Silent 2 Electro in comparison to other gliders is that there is no dedicated avionic battery. So the whole electrical system depends on the two FES battery packs which are located right behind uh, the pilot in the fuselage. Fully charged FES battery packs then leads to a total voltage of 117 volts. So to get 12 volts for the avionics out of uh, this voltage, there is a DC-DC converter installed right behind the bulkhead behind the pilot. So let's get right up in the air and have a test flight with the new electric bug wiper system. Okay, I've just landed. Uh, I'm not really happy with the installation so far. The thing is that the 12 volts voltage broke down during uh, the retrievement of the bug wipers. I assume that's because uh, that there is too much friction inside the system. So the, the ropes are running in the bottom cables and I have a lot of bendings. This causes too much friction and too much friction causes the motors to need or to have a demand of a lot of amps which uh, the DC-DC converter cannot deliver. So the next step is to get the friction out of the bottom cables so that there is not so much current needed. In the meantime, I've made such adapter plates and I'm going to mount the motors on those adapter plates with those installation mountings for the steel pipes. Those places are pretty perfect for the motors of the bug wipers. There they do not interfere with anything else, like for example control rods. Furthermore, the adapter plates are very well tightened so that the motors cannot rotate downwards. Even if they would, they would be stopped by lying on other devices like for example the DC-DC converter. But now you can see here the line is going really straight to the outlet through the fuselage. And now <laughs> I really think there's there is almost no friction. So I'm happy with that one. Always remember, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> you 
Yeah, so I'm pretty happy now, and now I'm going to rig the glider and uh, try to test uh, the bug wipers in flight. Super, now everything is working. I'm really happy with it and I'm looking forward to the next uh, cross-country flight. See you! If you liked that video, I would be happy if you leave me a comment in the section below and or subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye!